Oh. I've been going to the Renaissance Fair a lot this year and this is like our sixth trip and I thought it'd be really fun to show how you can get dressed at the Renaissance Festival. This is not the most cost effective way to acquire a costume for the Ren Fair so that is something to keep in mind. However, if you don't own anything and you do have a little bit of disposable income to throw at some artisans, this is a really good way to support the local fair artists and also to like get some cute clothes for the Ren Fair next time you go. So I think the first place we're going to be going to is Maresca. Maresca is pretty popular as a Ren Faire brand. They have a presence at most of the Ren Faires, I think, and they're also pretty well known on the internet. And then the rest of them, I think, are a little bit less well known, but I wanted to showcase them because they're all very cool. This is our friend Charlie from New York. This is her first time ever going to a Renaissance Festival I, ever, so like, this will be a fun experience for that too. So you'll see her throughout the day. I asked on Instagram what theme and what color scheme I should go with. So my options for color scheme were red and black or like green, gold, and neutrals. And the green, gold, and neutrals were what won. So that's gonna be the color palette that I'm going for. I'm wearing all black right now because this is like my base. It's like 50 degrees outside right now. So it'll be a little chilly. So I wanted to have like a warm base to start with. For theme, I picked between a ranger, a witch, those were my like final two contenders there were some other ones like oh yeah fairy pirate and some other ones that i'll just like throw up some inspiration images up here but the final two were witch and ranger and they kind of pretty evenly tied so i decided to go for a ranger because i haven't done that kind of outfit on this youtube channel yet i have multiple witch videos so you should check those out but i thought that this would be a fun way to creatively put together an outfit that's not just like the standard Ren Fair outfit. That was one of the options, but it lost immediately. <laughs> that's the plan. I will see you guys inside the park once we ever get out of this car. I this is Maresca. I'm gonna get my base dress here and maybe uh, like shift or a hood or something. I'm not entirely sure, but definitely base dress. So that's what we're looking for first. They've got a short and a long, so I'm gonna try both of them on, I think. But this is the color I like for the base. I was going for a cotton jersey one before, but they don't have like the right shade of green that I want. So velvet it is. Okay. Oh, I wonder if my other dress has a little for the hair. Okay, so this is a short, definitely shows my boots. This is their fitting room, so they've got like a nice place for you to try stuff on, so that's cool. But the stained glass? Yeah. And then they said the mirrors are in the front. <laughs> <laughs> it still shows my shoes, so I think the long one. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So I was also considering a skirt from Bullseye, so I might just check that out first, and then if I don't find something, I'll get the skirt from here. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. This is the one I picked. It's the longer one because it like still doesn't quite reach the floor. So long is good. Um, this has like a cute open back, but it's a little chilly today. So I'm going to go get a shirt. But this is what I'm getting right now. I might come back from this for the skirt later. I'm looking for like a bodice and like some leather accessories because Potomac does leather. So that's what we're doing right now. I have like four different vests in various colors. These are the Dryad vests. They've got like the raw edge on the bottom. These are Romani vests, I think. This one is a bit out of my budget, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to show you guys anyways. So here it is. And it has a hood. Our really helpful assistant squirrel is getting more things that she thought might look good for a ranger look. So. Oh, she's like that. Perfect. <laughs> oh, right. Awesome. That's fine. This will. Oh, she just finished getting into it. It'll oh tie it together. I think that goes really well with the back of the dress too. Yeah, I think I was gonna get the longer one, but I think I'm gonna stick do with the this shorter one. Yeah. I mean, I'll try them on. I've actually had a bunch of other people named Squirrel be like, "I'm gonna take that from you." So then from there we've got uh, skirt hikes to keep skirts out of the way. All the various pouches, great for cell phones. Technically a sporin. Um, it looks a little weathered because this bag is 20 years old. Uh -huh. yes. Wow. I like it. The very first thing I ever bought at a fair. Oh, That's yeah. awesome. I'm really torn. I don't know if I like the short one or the this one. Uh, I really like... It's really cool and finish. That's the natural edge of the high. 
so it does definitely go with the ranger look yeah. that you're going for, and it shows that it came from a real living, breathing animal. Yeah. It's, these are um, holes from where the hide was taken up. Here, um, you see that little mark there? Yeah. That's like a, a scar from the animals. <laughs> Whoa. So option two or the short option one? I think I like this one because it's more unique. And if it's more ranger. Yeah. Additionally, this is all deer skin. Uh, the nice quality about it is that you can layer it so you can put the wool or cotton underneath to keep you warm. And then of course you can wear it by itself if it's too hot outside. This is going to be counterintuitive. I'm actually going to wear my leather pants when it's oh. hot because of course and it will help you breathe. So interesting! Oh my gosh, I never thought of that because like usually like when it's fashion leather pants, they're like leather and they're the worst things to wear. They're like these so are, sweaty. These are deer skins. Okay, so we've got the option between cream and the like reddish brown. Mahogany. I think I like the darker better. Mirror right there, that's why I keep turning that way. This is the one size smaller, but I think I like the looser fit because I think it's a little more comfortable and I think it like smooths over my bust area a little bit like smoother, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the larger one, and I think I also like the color of the, the, the dark cooler chocolate. brown a little better. <laughs> so this is our Alyssa vest. This is one of my personal favorites. It is, in my opinion, one of our most versatile pieces. It adjusts on the sides, the front, and for like long-term wear. I've seen uh, a lady who is a few months along able to wear hers oh, because cool. she just laced it at the top. That's so, so smart. You don't have to skip out on garb just because you might be a different size at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get the correct size okay. of the Alyssa vest for you and yes. get back to it. Cool. Look at this cool hood. Oh, wow. Do I blow my entire budget on this jacket? So another fun thing about the Alyssa vest is it has these little wings. Yes. Yeah. Hey, this is the Alyssa vest and it's like so beautiful. I really want one, but uh, I'm gonna have to wait till next year to get one for one because uh, I budgeted for this video. <laughs> um, but also, they don't have my quite correct size. This is one size too small, so better for my wallet in that case. But you should, you should go buy one because this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at that! Wow. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna save up for this so I can come back like the first weekend next year and get my own. That's so cool. Rob Roy jacket. It matches the Rob Roy jacket for gents, which is designed to be worn with kilts up the loop there. And this is just my favorite thing in the world. So that's why I'm insisting you get a chance to try it yep. on. The sleeves are removable. Oh my god, it feels so nice. The buttons are made out of dyed antler. And I wear it to the office. It, it's so I feel so cool. <laughs> dyed antler buttons. This that's one is elk. Cool. So this is deer and this is elk. The elves have more pebbly skin in this way. Finally made a decision. This is the Dryad vest, and I think it's a size 32. Um, what is the size range here? Uh, we have, gosh, I think the smallest I've seen is a 24, and we go up. We've, we've had quite large sizes, and we do custom as well. So okay. Does it even make everybody happy? Yes, yeah. that's our goal here. Definitely. It's... I'm like looking for more places to show that are like size inclusive and making sure that everybody has the options. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes! 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 It costs money. It does cost money. <laughs> it says chocolate beer. Chocolate beer? Chocolate deer. <laughs> chocolate oh. beer. <laughs> I want a chocolate beer. They will figure out what size you wear. It's going to be that one. So then if you wanted to get this, I would cut this right here and you would just wear it there. Can we also try it on his wrist because I want to make sure that we can both wear it. Okay. So there's the Ranger shirts, tabard, the belts, and the belts. Get your whole Aragorn cosplay here. The brace so that hasn't sewn off. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Sleeves are removable. It would be a long process, but you can take them out if you need to. Okay, our next stop is Bullseye. We've got 
cotton vel velvet dress from Maresca. We got a leather bodice and a leather bracelet from Potomac Leather. And now I'm going to look for a skirt and maybe a shift. I'm on the fence about the shift, but definitely a skirt from Bullseye. can do it individually or swap them. Oh, okay, so like tie the loops together? No, you actually put one inside the other. Oh. This one on first. Yeah. And then I put this one on over top and then I just pull the fabric to you. Okay, so I got two tops that theoretically I can layer and then I also got two skirts that I could also layer. Skirt number one. All right, we're back. I think I like the dark one better. I'm gonna put this one over top so it like shows through the slashes. Okay, and also this still would look good with your other oh, the yeah. velvet over top of both too. Like just the brown one better? Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I agree. Okay. Alright, I think I'm just gonna go with the brown and the skirt. So now I got <laughs> Gotta take it off again. I'm stealing Micah's belt so that I can add it to mine. I figured I don't need to buy a belt here because most people have belts at home. Charlotte, please. Yep. So from Bullseye, I got this skirt and also this top. So now I won't be chilly, even though it's getting a little warm now. Charlie, what have you been up to? I had curly fries. And I walked around a lot, and this place is really big. I think that might be something that like television did not prepare me for and the, like the few depictions I've seen mostly Gilmore Girls not this appear is a so big. much larger yeah. Ren Fair than it's Boston. really big yeah like I keep realizing it, there's just another like row of it yay yeah. are you having fun yes I am, I am, I am. <laughs> Charlie's already Good. planning their outfit for next time yes. you're gonna be a prince Keep yes playing. I saw someone who had like a cool like silk kind of like a tiny crown and I was like oh yeah I like that I like that vibe you're looking for a mug yes I am okay we're also looking for a yes. mug. Here's my other takes, my other reaction. Which is that I, the huzzah for the tipper thing is real. I thought that was maybe just made up on your part. Not made nope. up, but the fact that they consistently say it on Yeah, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the mushroom? Why are there people it's walking like around? It looks like a mushroom. It's like a TikTok trend yeah. to do mushrooms. Uh -huh. I just did a mushroom Okay, thing. But is it tied to like a show, like a thing? It's no, just like it was mushrooms just as an aesthetic. Okay. Cause that's the one costume I can't, I couldn't square. Like everyone else wearing a night, you know, some sort of thing. And I, was like, I don't know the mushrooms. Like we're buying mugs now. We were gonna do this last cause it's like the, and then the final thing that you need is a mug, but Charlie wants a mug and I also want a mug. So yeah, we're just doing it now. Hi guys. So we are Goodly Woods and we make handcrafted wooden mugs. All of our mugs start their life off like this. This is pre-mug. Cool. This is post-mug. We're all hand carved on a lathe. And then they are sanded and then coated with a food grade sealant. So they, they can take the scalding hot liquids, they can take the ice cold liquids. They, however, cannot take the microwave or the dishwasher because trees don't like that. That's fair. All the pretty, pretty colors that you see out there are all the natural colors of the wood. There are no dyes or stains used. Oh, they're behind you too. Ah, oh, yeah, they hey. have a list of all the different kinds of woods that we have. We use more than 40 different exotic woods. And all, everything that we make has a lifetime warranty because they are made to last a lifetime. Awesome. And it's one gentleman and two apprentices that make everything in the shop. And we do recommend touching, fondling, and feeling our wood in the public. Because <laughs> it's just like Harry Potter and the wand. The mug's gonna make the drinker. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Thank you. Have fun. Look at all these cool mugs. I like this one. Look at the, the octopus one. That's so cool. Oh, this one's shiny. I like it. It's Gryffindor colors. That's it doesn't really match me right now, but I like these colors generally. I would I would say if you like it, that's that's enough. Oh that is so cool. I like the feature. Yeah, that's very cool. Gryffindor colors. I think this is my your choice. Okay. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> I got a mug. But look how cute it is! It was very much like Juan chooses the wizard. I saw it immediately after like being like, oh those are cute, those are cute. I saw this one, I was like, this is the perfect shape and it's Gryffindor colors and I love it. So I got this one. We're taking a short break from finishing my costume. It's mostly just accessories left. So we're gonna go find Charlie a mug also because I found a cute mug. So we're doing that. There she is. <laughs>
Okay, hey, what do you get? I got this little, uh, it's like a little seal, like a wax seal, because I really wanted one, and they were not, they were very well priced over there. Uh, and look at the business card, it's really cute. And then she gave me a little pouch for it. And, and wax. yeah, it expect like. mail from me. And these are ones you like? I like these. Yeah, I like Yeah, yours fits your outfit. Yeah. Yay! Yay! I really love that We're at the Crafty Kilt right now, and they've got really cool jewelry and stuff, so I'm trying to pick out a cool necklace to wear that'll match my outfit and look kind of like ranger y. This approach to ancient Ireland that would distinguish class very often, right? Because they would wear kind of like in ancient Greece, like togas, so you couldn't show off how rich you were, but you could get one of these brooches to clip your toga, your toga, but your toga ish cloak. That could then show off, like, look, I'm, it's, you know, it's made of precious metals or stones or whatever. Fast forward 1800s, they uncover one beautiful, intricate one. It's called the Tara brooch. Queen Victoria was like, oh, this is really beautiful. So she had replicas made, and she would give it out as like a diplomatic gift while they were like actively oppressing Ireland, you know, the, you know, all of the time. Yes, they do. So they were also banned in ancient Greece because women would stab men with them. So they banned them, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, like, do I want something more stealthy looking? Like the moon? I really like the moon. Feel free to take them off the board and I'll close them. Oh, okay, cool. As seen on Vikings. Wow, that's so cool. I got a necklace. I got a little cross guy. Oh, wait, this right way. Right here. Hey! We are in Thousand Rafts. Ah, a Thousand Rafts. And we're gonna get some arm cuffs, like wrist cuffs. They're $50 for a pair and they've got bees on them. So Micah really wants them and they'll go with my outfit today. So, you know what that's? Thousand Rest is really beautiful leather work. So I'm just gonna show you guys around a little bit. These are the cuffs we're gonna get. So I'm just gonna grab them. Like, look at this cool armor. And there's Micah. Nice cuff. Look at the bee pouch. Oh, it's bees. Micah's got one of the bracelets. Oh, Charlie also I got a ring. Which also for my character. matches. They're yeah. all the same color. What do your oh, it is. Say? Okay, what does yeah. your rune say? Mine means unafraid. Yeah. Ah, I we all match. She gave it to me and it was warm. I don't know why that would be cold, but I always was looking at it and imagining, I'm realizing now that we're eating like cold turkey, which is gross. Right, cheers. Oh, God. Hey! <laughs> it's very bright. Wait, I'm gonna go get a skirt hike. That's the last thing I'm gonna get. We're going back to Potomac. Woo! This is the finished outfit. We've got all the things. I got skirt hikes for my last piece here, and it's doing a good job of holding up my dress, which I've had to do myself all day. Uh, so that's nice. But we went back to Potomac, and they're super nice. Definitely recommend that store. Going into it, I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to be able to find a lot of coordinating pieces from different stores because all the stores like coordinate within themselves. But I think I did a pretty good job of finding stuff that all get went together from like multiple different stores. I did not hit up all of the stores. Like there are definitely a lot more artisans and a lot more just general shops to support. So you should definitely do that and check out all of the shops at the Renaissance Festival if you are going. But I think I was able to see a decent amount of them and you know like there's only <laughs> so much money I can spend on this and so many stores I can go to in one day so if you like this video then let me know and I can do it again with a different theme next year maybe I guess my outfit isn't like the most ranger looking but I think that I did pretty well with what I had like 
the pants that were available, they were either like bloomers and those were kind of within my price range or they were leather pants that were like $600, which were beautiful, but not really what I budgeted for for this video. So, you know, maybe next year. I don't know, let me know what you think and if I accomplished that at all, scale of one to 10, how did I do looking like a ranger? I think I still looked like kind of woodsy, but I think I looked a little bit more like elf princessy than like ranger, but I tried. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you liked this video, if you didn't like this video, if you thought there were things that I could improve or something else you would like to see if I do this again, let me know. And if you wanna see the rest of my videos, please subscribe. Okay, bye. See you guys next time.